Hey, it's Entheogen, and welcome back to Stratagen, Rome, Total War. When we left off last time, we were engaged in the war on the Gaulish front, against the Gauls, naturally enough, but also the Spanish, who were down here in uh, the city of Osca. We've been trying to get to, towards their capital. In the meantime, I'm in the process of bringing up more troops from uh, Mediolanium, and possibly Segesta, if I decide to do that as well. Uh, we're trying to get them up here so we can deal with these these Gauls over here. So let's go ahead and uh, end this turn because we've got no money. And see what's going on here. Okay, okay so they're going to decide they're going to attack us. Oh, they're, they're attacking the city is what they're doing. They're putting the city under siege. Okay. No, I'm not going to become your protector at Spain. I don't I'm, know how many times I have to tell you that. But it's not going to happen. Okay, rebels. Alright. Settlement besieged, yep. I know. Okay, so I need to bring these guys over here as quickly as possible. Which I should be able to do. They're going to go this way. And then we'll attack these guys from the side. And that way we'll have them... Oh, from behind, that way we'll have them threatened on three sides. On the next turn. And return report. Okay, we only got a hundred. I got nineteen. I got nine ninety-eight. We're almost out of money. So it's the Senate has finished its august deliberations and assigned the important offices of state as follows: the consul is Decimus Claudius, and the quaestor is Manius Afranius. Okay, we're slowly getting back in the Senate's good graces. Uh, so we've recruited a bunch of uh, legionnaires, and uh, Gaul and the. Senate and have declared it on a ceasefire. We're going to leave these guys more or less where they are. This guy's got to move. We don't have very much money. Uh, Massilia, what are you doing? Oh, and I'm still planning on blockading that port, so let's go ahead and bring this guy down here. I think he's supposed to go over here. I think that's the port they have in mind. Alright, so Massilia, what are you doing? You're just building more of these legionnaires. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. So we really can't build anything more with only a little bit of money. Okay. Alright, so they are coming up here to support these guys. All of these Gauls. Okay, Senate mission failure. Oh, I didn't man manage to blockade it in time. End of the turn report. Running out of money. Agent found. Alright, some Spanish spy in Batavium tried to get by us. Let's go ahead and get, take care of these guys before it's too late. Go ahead and attack them from the rear. One of the things I found is that the the Gauls aren't really as good at troops as uh, the Spanish were. So they're going to leave. They decided to call off the siege, but I don't mind at all. Huzzah! Alright. Um, so let's actually let's try and eliminate these guys. So I'm going to move these here. This is actually a perfect situation because he's going to be unsupported, I think, by these other ones. And then oh, he can't move any further, so... You... Can attack that guy, though. Like that. And he'll get out of the way. And maybe that guy can move further now. Uh, no, I guess not. Can this guy... He can't move anymore because he's threatened on two sides. Uh, this guy, though, he can move over here and attack that guy. So kill him. Bam. He's going to have to give battle. Okay. Clear victory. Yeah, see, the, the Gauls are not very good fighters. In my experience. We tend to whip, whip them into shape pretty easily. Okay. Get gone, you. Okay, I still can't attack that guy. Yeah, I'm out of moves now. Okay, um, these guys are going to... Basically, besiege Oscar down here. <clears throat> There's the Gauls over there. All right, let's go ahead and build a ram. And I'm genuinely going to I'm genuinely going to besiege them this time because last time I was hasty. The Spanish are a lot tougher than the Gauls are. Um, so I think we should actually try and take over the Gaulish territory anyway, because since they, we are having such success against them. Alright, so we need to build up our forces to do so. Alright. 
Medilanium, you're gonna make me another cohort. You know how many do we have enough for more money? Yeah, one more. Alright, so we're gonna make two more cohorts. We'll send them over here to do battle with the Gauls and hopefully take over some Gaulish territory. Okay, um, let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay. What are the Gauls gonna do? They're gonna attack me there? That's kinda silly. Uh, let's go ahead and resolve it. Clear victory. See what I mean about them not being very good? Alright, so my forces, you're attacked being Army of Spain. Um, we can abandon the siege, or we can automatically resolve the battle. I'm gonna auto clear victory. Let's do it now. Let's resolve the battle. Yeah. Good. Okay, so they want me to blockade the port of Palma. Let's go ahead and do that on this turn. I think we can go this. This is the port of Palma, right, isn't it? I'm assuming, yep, there it is. Perfect. Palma. Okay, and then we need to end a turn report. So we got 1700 bucks. And the amphitheater has been built in Patavium. This, is, this substantial amphitheater allows games that properly reflect the grandeur and glory of the Roman world. weak need foreigners may faint at the spectacle, but the Roman crowd knows how to appreciate and enjoy the games. The atmosphere and the ceremonies help glue the Roman world together and make everyone feel uh, uh, good to be a Roman citizen. That the games are free to attend is simply a bonus. So what if some spoiled rich boy in a toga wants to impress everyone? Let him, and let the games commence. An amphitheater can be upgraded as the city grows in size and importance. Alright. And then a recruitment report, we got some more lead, uh, co some co more cohorts trained. And the following factions have broken their alliances. Okay. So we're besieging, we're blockading that port. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, bring some more troops in here. We're going to build some more cohorts. Because my mission basically is to take over Gaul now. <clears throat> since I've since I've determined that the Gauls are kind of crappy fighters, we're gonna try and take it over from them. We're gonna maintain the siege here on Oska. Go ahead and end the turn. <clears throat> my hope is to eliminate the Spanish as a presence on the mainland. Hope they're gonna besiege me again for a second time. He's gonna try and fight me, which is a stupid move. Go ahead and de de kill them all. Okay. All right. Mission assigned. Mission. Senate mission assigned. Sweet. Take Asuka. We're gonna. We're trying to do that right now. So the Senate asks you to take the settlement for the glory of the empire. If you succeed, games will be thrown in your honor at the Senate's expense. No problemo. We got four more turns until I surrender. Mission successful. We uh, blockaded Palma. We've been awarded a bounty for our efforts. Nice. Settlement besieged. Okay, Narbo Martius is being besieged again by an army of Gauls. Let's go ahead and try breaking the siege. Alright, so it slightly favors us. Let's go ahead and resolve it. Clear victory, yeah. So the Gauls really do suck. Alright, we're going to bring our forces against them, though, and then we're going to crush them and take over Gaul land. It's just called Gaul. Alright. Go back, they're backing away. Get out of here, you. Hope you learned your lesson. Huzzah! Alright, so there's some Spaniards here. Enemy army routes. Oh, Captain Decimus. The foe are so few in number that they have fled and hidden rather than face the might of true Romans any longer. They no longer need no longer trouble our forces. So that's the equivalent of our forces fading away, is the enemy routes. End of turn report. We've got $775, which isn't a lot. Alright, let me look at the army in Massalia. Massalia, excuse me, I've got five guys there. I'm gonna bring them up so they can reinforce the garrison that I've already got. Alright. Okay, and I'm gonna bring these guys, Captain Kiso, or into the Narbo Martius if I can. And then we'll have them retrain some troops. There we go. Go in here, retrain. Who can we retrain, and for how much? We want to do. Let's do the cheapest ones first. Probably gonna be this guy's gonna be cheap. This guy's gonna be cheap. Um, this guy'll be real cheap. This guy'll be cheap. Uh, let's do this guy for twenty-seven. 
25. And then uh, we got, what's the next, 24? 24 there. Let's go train all those guys. Can we do any more? Oh, yes, we can do one more, I guess. Uh, let's do this one for 219. Okay. So those guys are going to retrain. These guys are going to be waiting to, on the next move. Uh, we got four more turns until Asuka surrenders. We got some more cohorts being built. And uh, ceasefire is in fact between Parthia and Pontus. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Alright. Gaul has sent a messenger to us. I'm not going to be a protector if that's what you're going to ask me. I've been asked that way too many times. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and resolve it. Clear victory. Yeah, see, we're just we're just kicking them all over the place. Britannia wants us to be a protectorate again. No. Sayonara, buddy. Thrace, the rebels. Okay, so Spain. Uh, suitable husband for uh, Magia, or Magia. Garrison commander, Sevius Maximus. Uh, Servius Maximus, excuse me. Command, he's got plus three. It's management superior commander. All right, sir, we'll have him as a new fam member of the family. Three more turns until Asuka surrenders. We only got 479 turns that time. Faction announcements. Um, Manius Afranius uh, has had his retinue expand. He's got a philosopher, plus one management. Asinius Manius, Manlius, excuse me, has got a priest of Jupiter. He's also got a mathematician. Lentulus Ammonius has got a quartermaster. Okay, root recruitment report. So we got some more um, guys retrained as well as a legionary cohort. And diplomatic information Spain and the House of Brudii and the Senate have declared a ceasefire. And uh, Servius Maximin, Maximin, Maximian, excuse me, has gotten married there. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. Let's do some little cleaning up here of these little armies. Okay. Victory! Huzzah! Alright, so we're going to take care of deal with him. Attack! Captain Mabin. These little Gaulish armies that are bugging me. Okay. Go ahead and take care of it. Clear, clear victory. We didn't lose any men. Killed 13 of their men. They're just been destroyed. Okay, victory! yeah. Enemy army routes. Okay. Perfect. We're going to bring these guys back over here. Yeah, so the next target is going to be Gaul for our War of Conquest, definitely. And then this guy is going to be stabbed in the back there like that. He's going to back away. And we're going to attack him again. Let's get rid of him there. I think he's a family member, too. The Lus Lucko of Duranius. Alright, so he's a family member, I think. Go ahead and do it. Killed 18. They killed two of our guys. Nice. Victory! So that's always nice when we route them. Enemy army routes. Okay. So let's fold. Can we fold these guys in together? Yeah, let's fold him. Yeah. In with him. Like that. So now they'll be in the same unit. And then we want to send an expeditionary force to try and conquer Gaul when we get a chance here. Because why not? Right? And they're not doing themselves any favors. Three turns until that falls. And then we'll have Asuka. Alright. How much money have we got? We got 1,200. As well as Narva Marshals, they're not doing anything. Let's go ahead and have them make some more Le uh, Legionary cohorts. Okay. Go ahead and end the turn. Gaul, what do you want? If you want a ceasefire, I'll be happy to take it from you. Alright, so let's go ahead and resolve that automatically. Clear victory. Yeah, these guys' Gauls are just terrible. Okay, so Spain looks like they're going to try and sally forth and break the siege. Let's go ahead and do that. Average victory, but that's alright. I'll take it. Okay. What else is going on? End of turn report. We got uh, 1087. Faction announcements. Uh, Lentulus Ammonius has got a pet lion. Right, 
plus one to personal life security, improves the chances of being detec of detecting and foiling assassination attempts, plus one command when fighting against rebels. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, Valerius Libo has gotten a drill master. And he's also gotten a mix master. Um, Acilia, Legionite Cohort, and Legionite Cohort. Got it. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Take that, buddy. Eliminate these Gauls. And then we'll go up into Gaul land. Gaul country. And take them there. Because the reality is, is they're not putting up much resistance, in my experience. They just go down really easily. Alright. No wonder Caesar had such a good time in Spain that he decided to write, write his memoirs about it. I'm going to back away over the... the oh, the Pyrenees, are they? No, they're not the Pyrenees. They're the... They're those French Alps? Must be. Okay, so we're going to take some of these guys here. You guys here. How many got there? We got a plenty. We are going to take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that guy. And you guys are going to go over here and attack him. Then we'll move these guys over here to Narbo Martius to maintain martial law. All right. Fighting a series of Gallic armies across the countryside. My idea of a of a good time. Huzzah! And then attack him one more time. That's over two turns, unfortunately. All right, you guys come in here and go into the thing there. Out of my way, spy. There we go. And we've got 1800, is there anything we can build? Paved roads, uh, sewers, low tax rate. What is causing the problems with, with uh, public order? Let's take a look. Uh, settlement details. Unrest, distance, squalor. Yeah, so let's build a sewers. There we go. We'll build some sewers there. Asuka has two turns until it surrenders. Okay. So, what else can we do? Massilia is not building anything. Let's go ahead and recruit some more of those guys. Go ahead and turn. Alright. Let's see what the Gauls are going to do now. Forces are being attacked by an army of Spain. Clear victory, nice. Oh, I see Gauls down there. I don't like that at all. There's a lot of them compared to how many men I have, so... End of turn report. Okay. Our standing with the senators of Rome is ebbing away, and this should be cause for concern. I'm not too concerned. I don't want those jerks anyway. Alright, uh... Agent escaped. Recruitment report. Uh, these my cohorts. Got them. And, uh... Not war with those guys. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Here. Alright, let's go ahead and resolve the battle. Clear victory, see? These Gauls are going really easy. They're going to go off that way, and we'll go that way too. Because I think that's where the city is. I think. I imagine. Whatever they call a town up there. Back all the way back into the, the Pyrenees there. And that guy's going to go across the river, too. And that river. Well, it's the same river, I suppose. Huzzah! You go over here. And we'll see what's up. What's on the other side of the river. What's another bad guy there? We can't attack him, though, yet. Alright, so we got one turn and they'll, they'll surrender, but we're surrounded by Gauls. Narbo Martius strains more. Legionary cohorts. Alright. They're happy. Alright. One more turn to this falls. Silly, what can you train? It's a regular Legionary cohort, I guess. 
go ahead and end the turn. All right. On this turn, Oscar should fall, which I'll be happy about. Hey, a bunch of thugs beating me up. Go ahead and take him down. Clear victory. Nice. A bunch of Gaulish thugs I gotta deal with. Britannia, they're trying to take a swipe at me. Jerk. Alright. Okay, captured Asuka. We wanna occupy the settlement. Alright, so blockade the port. Carthago Nova. Five turns. The Senate asks you to send one of your fleets to blockade this port for one turn. This will increase the pressure on this faction by cutting their income. Games will be thrown in your honor at the Senate's expense. Okay. All right. We have succeeded in taking um, Oscar, so our popularity will increase. And a turn report. We got. We're now up to forty-two hundred bucks. Denarii, I suppose. And uh, construction complete in Narva Marshes. We got sewers. Sewers efficiently wash away the filth and rubbish from a settlement, making the place cleaner. Indeed, one measure of a civilization might be the distance between one's nose and the final resting place of one's bowel movements. Sewers therefore help. Civilization's forward march. Okay, recruitment report. More cohorts. War declared between House of Budiai and Spain. Um, where is the next Spanish? Okay, they, apparently they have this one over here. But, uh, you know, good luck to them because in the main, it seems like we've conquered most of it of Spain there. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Let's deal with this jerk. Attack! Decided to ambush me. Oh, there we go. Lemonium. Or, le or Lernonium. I can't tell from shit from here. That's a settlement there. Victory! Huzzah! Okay, so let's go ahead and... um, Let's take care of him first. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Defeat him first. Rid of this guy, and then we'll take care of the city. All right, go ahead and get rid of him. Fair victory, nice. Okay, one victory! more. Only good Gaul is a dead Gaul. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait one more turn before we can besiege the city. Our enemy army routes, got it. And then we're gonna go down here. Okay, we want to take over recruitment and construction. Nobody likes us because we're zero percent public order. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look and see what's causing all the dis dismay, squalor, and culture penalty, and distance capital and unrest. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of. We knew something about the squalor, so let's do that first, and then let's recruit, recruit some guys. So re re um, early legionary cohorts. Let's recruit those guys, and then we're gonna send some. Of these guys, I think, down to assist them. These two guys are going to come down. Uh, can we put them down here? Does that make sense, or do we want to go through the through the middle? Let's go through the middle, and we'll just cut down some of these galls. Take that guy, and that guy, and that guy, this guy, and that guy. Oh, and this guy here. You guys go over here and attack him. Attack! Get rid of him. We'll push him out of the way. Take care of all these Gauls that are roaming the countryside. I think they'd have better things to do. Clear victory. Yeah, so the Gauls aren't very tough. Which I'm pleased with because it means that we're more likely to, to win against them. But uh, it's kind of depressing for them. You know, this is where it starts for the French, right here. I'm, I'm being, I'm being cruel. The Gauls were Celts and uh, had very little relationship with the uh, the French who came later, who were descendants of Franks. All right. So we need to hold on to this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end the turn. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we don't get kicked out of Oscar. That we have pain in the butt. All right, there's rioting there, so we are in danger of being kicked out. But I'm going to have some more relief there, hopefully. 
here very shortly. As soon as my relief troops come. Spain, I'm not going to give you Asuka, and I'm not going to become your protectorate. Go, go kill yourself. All right, so yeah, so Asuka is rioting. Oh, we detected an agent of Britannia. They're spying on us. A uh, suitable husband, betrothed, Leontia. Uh, Placus Varius, he's got plus three command. He's a good, he's a social drinker, and he's a good commander. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. And turn report, 2900. Plague in Italy. Uh-oh. All across Italy, many thousands have fallen victim to another pestilence bought by, brought by the foul barbarians. The Roman Senate has decreed that all cities will be closed for 40 days, fires will be kept burning to purify the air, and a proper schedule of sacrifices will be carried out in the temple. Well, I'm sure that will work. Alright. Uh, Senate office is assigned. Uh, Decimus Claudius got Pontifex Maximus, and Manius Frenius got Adeli. Alright. And then uh, Servius Max Maximian got a priest of Jupiter, and games were held in Patavium. Nice. Uh, Narbo Martius and Asuka produced some early legionary cohorts. This guy we're going to have, and we're going to have him merge into here to garrison the Asuka settlement. That way we can avoid having any unpleasantness. Okay. Ceasefire in effect between Spain and the Senate. And uh, Placus Varius and Leontia have celebrated their marriage uh, of convenience, presumably. And we're going to start besieging Limonum. Assuming that's what it's called. Okay. And we'll build one of these. How much is it in the last six turns? Okay, so having taken finally taken Asuka... I think that's a pretty good place to call it an episode. Uh, and as we continue on, we're going to try and take over Gaul, which includes uh, Limonum there, which will give us this whole province, and then we'll push on into northern uh, France and see what's up with those guys. And I will see you next time.